on June 22, 1969, oil and garbage in the Cuyahoga River caught fire in Cleveland, Ohio. This drew national attention to environmental problems in Ohio and in other places across the United States. The Cuyahoga River fire lasted just 30 minutes, but it did approximately $50,000 in damage to some railroad bridges and other buildings near the river. No one knows what exactly caused the fire. Some say the river just started to burn by itself. But most people believe that sparks from a passing train fell into the oil slick on the Cuyahoga River. The flames became very high, almost five stories tall, before fireboats arrived and got the blaze under control. This was not the first time that the river had caught fire. Fires occurred on the Cuyahoga River many times before. The 1952 fire was the biggest. It caused over $1.5 million in damage to boats and an office building near the river. On August 1, 1969, Time magazine reported on the fire and on the condition of the Cuyahoga River. Chocolate brown, oily, bubbling with subsurface gases. It oozes rather than flows. Anyone who falls into Cuyahoga does not drown, Cleveland citizens joke grimly. They decay. The Federal Water Pollution Control Administration dryly notes, Cuyahoga has no visible signs of life, not even low forms such as leeches or sludge worms that usually thrive on wastes. It is also, literally, a fire hazard. Because of this fire, Cleveland businesses became famous for their pollution. During the late 1800s and early 1900s, Cleveland was a center for manufacturing in the United States. At that time, there were no laws to protect the environment. So, Cleveland businesses, especially steel mills, routinely polluted the river. Cleveland and its residents became the source of jokes across the United States. The fire also brought attention to other serious environmental problems all across the country. In 1972, the Clean Water Act was made a law. Unfortunately, even today, the river is still polluted, mostly by trash from nearby houses, oil and gasoline washed into the river by rain, and sewer water. The good thing is, the water quality has really improved. Before, there were no fish living in the river, but a recent study found 44 different kinds of fish. So today, the water is much, much cleaner.